Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, ready to take you through another Minnesota Wild discussion here on the channel today. I'm barely standing that four-hour home run derby live stream. Dang near killed a guy. We got through it, a thousand views achieved, goals doubled up on Clem, and away we go. But folks, my goodness, let me tell you, that was fun. But Juan Soto coming out the champ, and now, you know what? It's time to settle in, crack the back. And get ready for some Minnesota Wild discussion for today, right? Right? We haven't talked about the Wild yet, so let's discuss it. And I'm going to queue up a tweet right here from a guy on Twitter that uh, you may or may not know in the tw Wild community. Again, I'm just learning all this, so I'm not sure who's who and what's where. But right here, Anthony Winker. He's got some broadcast uh, stuff by the looks of it in his resume and his Twitter bio. And this is this why I'm doing this. Literally, I read this tweet. And I, I could not agree more, right? Based on knowing what I know as an Oilers fan of what my team's done over the past 15 years, this is, in essence, exactly what I'm looking at when I look at players that, okay, are they on their way out? What do you do? What, how do you handle it? Let me read Anthony's tweet here. The Minnesota Wild may trade Matt Dumba, and that's okay. Smart, maybe. Expiring contract with a $6 million AAV. We've already had this discussion in the fact when we were talking just before Chaffee and Sweeney signed in the fact that, right, Dumba's your prime target if you're looking to free up cap space to try and maybe make a bigger move this offseason, right? So, okay, I get that, right? Yeah, yeah, right? It's okay. It could be a smart move. It's an expiring contract. Lines up. But Wild fans just saying trade him for the hell of it are really starting to annoy Mr. Anthony Winker here. Uh, yeah, he has some turnovers, but he is a bona fide top four D-man and was our best in the playoffs. So that's that statement is not a shot at the fans. That statement is not a shot at you guys just don't know anything. The, uh, what I'd look at that statement as is, you know what? Yes, you can want to get a w rid of a guy all you want. And as an Oilers fan, I know what it feels like for my fellow fans to want to run a player out of town, i.e. yes, a Puliarvi, who many Wild fans would love to have right now. That said, if they could move, probably Matt Dumba to make some room. However, what I'm looking at here and the reason I cannot agree more with this statement and just looking at how it reads is simply, right, you know what you have in Matt Dumba. You know that that kind of player is worth big assets in the NHL. Now you look at the kind of player Matt Dumba can be when he's on his game. You look at the kind of player Matt Dumba is overall regularly. That kind of player in the NHL is suddenly commanding about, right, not the 9.5s that the big boys commanded a couple seasons ago, but we're talking, yeah, they're commanding 8, 7.5. So right now you get a defenseman at $6 million. You better be paying for that million and a half to $2 million in cap space you are saving by bringing in a player of Matt Dumba's caliber. And that's to Anthony's point here, is don't just boot him out of town for nothing and be like, oh, we freed up $6 million in cap space. That's that's dumb. And I'll tell you why I agree with Anthony here, is simply put, for the Minnesota Wild, they aren't going to do something completely dumb. The Wild are in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation because of the salary cap implications of buying out Parise and Suter. However, you look at it through the lens of, okay, you free up 6 million cap space, but to get draft capital, that's worth a damn. To get prospect capital, that would be worth something, right? That would be huge right now. Would allow you to kind of stock the cupboards down low in the farm system, allow you to bring up a couple guys, and of course, sign a guy if you need a guy somewhere, right? That's, if you could work that 6 million, but you need if you are trading Matt Dumba, and right, I I, I, I was kind of very easy, oh, you just trade Matt Dumba. But if you are trading Matt Dumba, you want to get maximum value two ways. A, in the trade, and B, in what you spend of that freed up cap hit. That's what you want to do. So for the Wild, it's a tough go, a questionable situation at all, right? Like, it's okay, and it could be a smart move. Or, if you rush it and play dumb... It could be really dumb. And that's that's what I really appreciate about reading this tweet. I was looking through it. I'm like, Coleman, I'm reading stuff. I'm reading stuff. Where am I going to find something to talk about? And then Mr. Winker here came up with the huge take here that I really couldn't agree more with. So that's the thing, right? A Matt Dumba trade possible? 
but there is no need to rush it from a Minnesota Wild perspective at current. So folks, right, it's one of those, that's more than likely a do-nothing thing, right? Matt Dumba more than likely stays with the Wild. They're out of a playoff spot by trade deadline. He gets shipped away. You go, that that's that's logical trade sense right there. Or in the offseason right now, if you're looking to free up calf space, he gets shipped. But we're not hearing the heavy Matt Dumba rumors we heard for a couple of years there. At one point, we're not hearing anything massive on him. It's just these fans like me, you, Anthony, talking, well, okay, mathematically, yeah, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this, but you need to make sure you do this, this, and this, and you just kind of come to your own conclusion and sit on it for right now, and that's that's what I'm doing. I'm just sitting here, right? It's something that you could very easily do if you're the Minnesota Wild, but you need to maximize return two ways. Folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. I am up on Oda here.